So I'm going to work on a video today that is, we're going to disassemble a Kato SD40-2, clear down to just part. That's what we got. Um, so we're going to strip it out and um, this is the chassis is going to be for another project. The shell, I think I'm going to sell it on eBay. Um, I've got uh, these little gems. They're a Baldy Locks Designs, a 3D printed. And they're off of Etsy. So they come with walkways, they come with a body shell, and they're supposed to fit on. Akato SD40-2 chassis. So I need to I do need to pull maintenance on that chassis before I put it all back together. So that means it's got to be completely disassembled. So let's get into it. So some things we're gonna need for today. We're gonna need a tiny straight edge screwdriver. Maybe a tiny Phillips. I don't remember what those screws are. A pair of micro tweezers. And a little bit of time and patience. <clears throat> so here we go. Set the box out of the way. So there it is. Um, this model, you do not have to take the couplers off, but for the sake of the video and disassembling it down to parts, we will do that after we get the shell off. Um, I use a couple of different methods to take the shell off. Um, probably about the easiest is to set it in your box, your lid or your jewel case, and basically like that, and just a gentle push down on it and this is a part. And that's that. So we'll set that aside for a minute and let's take off, let's take this down to parts. First, I like to get the horn off. Take off the handrails. Get them loose from the cab. And then these, there's little clips in here, right there. And then it's, they come apart pretty easy. Okay, so there's that, and the shell just basically, it just sets on there. <clears throat> so the shell is apart, now we got to get the glass out of this thing. Okay. 
and you see all I did was push on the headlight just a little bit and it's apart. You don't have to worry about the number boards because they are permanently in there. And then the side glass, just a Now this one's going to be difficult. And this one just, I've filed down the edge so it's a little more knife blade like. So there's your bear cab. If you're looking to, you know, repaint, whatever, that's how the how the glass comes out. We'll set that out of the way, set the cab out of the way. Now we'll take the walkway and the uh, couplers apart. Snow plow, it just pops off. It just goes in these holes right here. And then as far as taking your coupler out, your screwdriver between your step and this block right here, and you just kind of twist. Same thing on the other side. And that's apart. Your coupler comes out. That easy. There you are, the couplers are out. The walkway and the handrails are two separate pieces. And that's how they come apart. This basically just sets on the inside of the walkway. Now I will say the ends they will come apart kind of hard, but it's just, you're just snapping it out of place. I, what I do is I like to just grab right here on the end rails and just pull up. And it don't take much effort to get it apart. <laughs> but one of the things, like when I repaint, I don't know if you can, how well you can see it, but like right in here, right there, it's like really shiny. Like right in here. That's oil from the locum from the motors. And the same thing on here. And when I get these for repainting, these go either in the stripper or I'll go wash the oil off. Yeah, you use a little Dawn dish soap and just some warm water and a toothbrush and scrub off all the oils and then into a alcohol bath. But that's how your shell comes apart. Next, we're going to work on the chassis. This is a split frame chassis. See this gap right here? That means that this frame comes in half. So first thing we gotta do, the fuel tank just pops right off. <clears throat> and these trucks are held in um, 
um, there's just a little wedge that comes down and catches on the edge of the frame and when we spread the frame out then this edge don't have nothing to catch on hopefully I can kind of show you that when we get these apart but you'll take these screws your Phillips head screwdriver and there's a little plastic nut and your screw and then we'll have to take this off that's your headlight blinder so it don't shine in the cab so there's the nut the screw and this should just start working its way apart now it is kind of a, see there's the truck. And right there, right there, that's that edge I was talking about that catches on the edge of the frame. So in these wheels, I mean you can see where there's a little bit, you got a dark and then a shiny. Okay, this has had track time. So, and I knew that when I bought it, that it was a used locomotive. So, next, your strips, your power pickup strips will come out. Now, between these two halves, you notice they're spaced when we started. Okay, this has to slide forward. Do you see how that worked? Okay, these tabs sit down basically right across there. And it goes into a, there's a little edge right here that the light board sits in. helps if you get it the right way it is a it is a this goes a one way together kind of thing but that slips in there and you got to get everything in there but that's how that light board goes in there pull lift pull a little more and your light board comes out <coughs> now this should just come right apart So there's your frame in half. Now you want to be careful with these guys because I don't know if there's many of those out there in parts land. But inside of this don't look terrible. So next motor comes out. So you can lift one side of the motor out. Then the side you got lifted up, you can pull it out of its cradle. The motor comes out. The worm gear and universal comes out. And there's parts. <clears throat> a 
and the motor sits in the saddle I took that apart off camera sorry about that but there's this little yoke that spreads on one end and you just pull it out of its saddle and that's all there is to that um, I try to leave these in place I mean they'll they'll come out but I just I generally try to leave this stuff in place fingers today huh. those are kind of a compressed fit in there they will come out <clears throat> but and to get these out they'll just kind of lift And then they come out and these are just a compression fit over the edge of the frame and then back in they go so you're that far you've cleaned up your motor 